Another update of Evolution X custom room is out. The version is 7.9.5 official version what I'm talking about right now. Having the July security patch, the previous update which was having the June security patch, the major changes with the QPR3 update. I made a video already on that update too. You can go and check it out. But with this new update, which are the new additions or changes, we will talk about all of those things in this one. Firstly, we have some launcher changes here. Quickly, if you move on to this memory info in recent panel, and if I try to see it, you can see we have this background chip available, which also I think so it's related to Monet theming. I think so it supports Monet theming as you can see. And if I click here, I'll be able to open this running services. So then you will be able to know that which are the services running in the background, how much is the RAM consumption for some of the RAM related users. If you think about these kind of things in your, in your mind. If I move on to the battery styles, you will be able to notice we have this option called iOS 16 style battery. And this thing was actually available with the Iconify Magisk module. If you use that to enable some customizations on your custom ROM, then you might notice that. But in Evolution X OS latest update, now you can enable this thing. If you move on to the battery styles option, you can simply select this landscape iOS 16 style and the status bar battery indicator is now changed and it just looking like iOS 16 style. Looks interesting though. If you, if you like this, you can, you can simply use this thing if you want to. If I move on to the other options in miscellaneous, you might be able to notice we have the unlock higher FPS in games. So what this option will simply do is you can simply unlock more FPS if you are a gamer. But the, in this new update, what we have is now we have the BGMI support. If you are Indian user or if you find that BGMI is for you, if you play that game. So whenever you enable this option, now we have more FPS in BGMI if you use that. Also, if we move on to the sound and vibration options, what I found here is the vibrate on brightness slider changes. To be very honest, I'm not a fan of this. I even don't use most of the times vibration. I don't use that. But uh, the thing is it's available and my work is to show you if I enable this option and if you move on the quick settings panel simply firstly enable this vibration and haptics for sure. And then whenever you simply increase or decrease your brightness slider, you will feel some kind of haptic movement. So yes, this is here. So if you if you you want to try it out you can this option is also present in the sound and vibration options although i don't use it personally so i'm not going to talk about this i'm not going to comment on this if this feature is good or not if i move on to the developer options what i found here is a rooted debugging option which was not available previously as far as i know this feature is only available in lineage US space custom rooms but although I'm not sure because in my custom room, like I'm using Voltage OS, I tried other custom rooms too. In most of the custom rooms, this feature called rooted debugging, especially if you're using pixel based custom rooms, I don't think so this feature is available. But with this new update, this feature is also introduced. One more thing is if I move on to the Evolver and Quick Settings, you might be able to notice we, we actually are not having the feature named as Quick Settings Data Usage. It's, it's now removed. So if you are one of the users who use that feature almost every time this feature is unfortunately removed from here although some other options are already included like secure quick setting styles require unlocking that's quite useful for the privacy concerns brightness slider style is also having some of the options related to brightness slider we have four extra styles options present if i move on to the theming options all the options what you were looking for most of the features most of the options are present we also have some navigation bar styles i think so most of the users always use navigation gestures but by any chance if you use the navigation bar then you can customize that too so why for icon styles customizations are present in theming options monochromatic theme which i actually found in one customer is not present here if you use that then you might miss that too other options are basically same. These were things available here. We have options related to miscellaneous in gaming space. There are no major improvements. There are no major changes. Things are almost same like the previous update. So no major changes in the game space. Although I don't think so it's bad. It, it's literally fine and a lot of users use that. Parallel space is also one of my favorite features. If I use custom home, if this feature is present, I love that. You can simply create as many as clones if you want to. I guess five are allowed, but I'm not sure. Ignore window secure flags is also quite useful. It's also present. So all the useful features and kind of customizable features are already present. If you want to take a look, the link for this custom room is available in the description. Make sure to check out that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.